Hello and welcome to that one. I am Shubhajit Ghosh, your host, and I am going to take you through a tour of our organization, what we are, our missions and goals, our team, and much more. That word is a combination of two words, that and where. That stands for the happy and to heal, and where is derived from software. That word aims to spread happiness amongst online business owners with the best of technologies. Tuhin is named after our founder Tuhin Banik, the visionary between behind the organization. In that way, our collective goal is to create an ecosystem of services for businesses with the best of technologies. Currently, we are an internet marketing organization providing a suite of solutions. Currently, this includes thatwire.co, our main hub for all internet marketing services primarily focused on delivering SEO solutions using cutting-edge technologies, including AI. Study SEO, our learning hub for all things marketing. Google Updates, our official journal for all updates regarding Google and search engines. My Designs, a hub for design and development. My SEO Tools, our very own suit of free tools for business and marketing professionals. QuestionAnswers.co Answers to all questions in SEO and marketing. And finally, WebTool.co Our very own AI-based SEO tool. In this video, we are going to focus on that web, the organization you just joined. For us to work together and make great gains, we must first be clear about our goals. So what are our goals? The purpose of that web at that way, we help common people, small business owners, middle-sized businesses and fortune companies prosper with their online businesses and sales funds. We provide customized digital marketing strategies and SEO solutions to every business and niche, irrespective of the competition. Our main vision is to help people and businesses who want to take their online presence to the next level. Our sole vision is to enhance search engine optimization and digital transformation using cutting-edge technologies such as NLP, AI, data science, deep learning, and more. We want to revolutionize the entire digital marketing industry with the help of cutting-edge search engineering practices. How are we different? Our sole mission is to maximize investment return and hike the sales funnel while maintaining exponential growth. This is unlike most companies where they only focus on the marketing activities. Our focus is to enhance your business growth through KPIs that matter the most. Number second, that will enables you to take strategic decisions by offering BI solutions. Business intelligence is at the core of our business strategy. We understand sales funnel stretch stages, increase conversion rate, and conduct competitive analysis through our tested competitor analysis model. Number three, we strive in AI SEO solutions. Our AI SEO algorithms generate intelligent guidance that no other SEO agency on the planet can access. The results are game changing. Number four, it's very hard for businesses of today to make to keep up with the changing landscape of SEO and internet marketing. For example, Google alone makes over 600 changes to its algorithm each year. We use AI to enable our clients to adjust smoothly to Google's algorithm changes. Yes, we use our AI to monitor Google's AI. Let's talk about our journey in a nutshell. In 2015, our founder Tuhin Banik formed an idea about enhancing digital transformation with cutting-edge technologies like AI and machine learning. In 2016, we launched a virtual company and became a Google partner. In 2017, the demand for SEO and internet marketing services rose rapidly. In 2018, that was formed and the first press releases and media interactions occurred. In 2019, our organization was awarded the, the most fastest growth organization in the country. And in 2019, our organization was awarded for being the most fastest growing company by the CEO magazine. 
In 2020, we got our patents filed for 83 AI algorithms. We became a clutch global leader and opened up our services in the UK. At present, in 2023, we work with 500 plus clients, expanding business overseas, serving SMEs and fortune companies. We are now proudly to be among the top 10 most promising SEO service providers in India and abroad. What is our next five-year plan? In the next five years, we hope to eliminate the hurdles faced by startups during the digital transition and help 5,000 plus startups grow their businesses organically. Our futuristic vision, ensuring digital solutions for every business at the price of water. Good SEO experts win races, great ones break records, legends change the game. Now that we have learned about our goals and visions, now let's talk about some work. So you have been onboarded to that work and you must have been thinking about where do I fit in in all of this. Don't worry, we have things sorted out for you. Here is the project management structure and also the team structure for each individual teams in that work. As a service company, we worked on projects and to manage those projects, we have teams. As you can see, since we focus primarily on SEO services, uh, we have an SEO team structure which consists of the team leader, the link builder, the on-page SEO expert, off-page expert, a content specialist, a designer and a technical SEO expert. Each team has a dedicated project manager and the teams also interact with the client. The project manager's job is to ensure smooth communication between the team and the client. This is the overall team structure. Beyond that, we have quality analysts whose work is to ensure the quality of the work at the project improvement. At that work, our goal is continuous project improvement so that we could help our clients grow their businesses and have healthy relationships with everyone. If by chance any of the projects fail or if there is a bad news looming over any of our clients, we have something called the risk management team to handle such situations. The job of this team to handle client escalations and to manage any risk to any projects. Ideally, we don't want any relationship to spoil. So we take care of each and every client and make sure that all the projects that, are, that the clients have entrusted with us run smoothly and without flaws. As a new joinee, you will fit in in any of the following roles that you, that you see in the screen. You may be either a team leader, a link builder, an on-page SEO expert, or maybe you are work on off-page SEO. You may be a content specialist, you may be a designer, which also includes a UI UX or a developer, or you may be a technical SEO expert. You may also be assigned a project manager who is involved in client and team interactions, or you may simply a quality analyst, or you may be even in the risk management team. Now that we know about the team structure, let's go about your workspace. At that way, we use Basecamp. This is our project management tool and helps us in maintaining all the projects and do interactions with the client. At that way, we have 12 teams, but uh, the teams that are involved in, in, in working with the clients are eight. Those are team one and to team eight. They all have their respective team leaders, a content person, designer, link experts, and other members as specified in the SEO stream structure before. Each team have their own dedicated base camps. For example, you can see from my bookmarks, you will see that there is a base camp assigned to every team. A team base camp is basically a hub where the team can interact and can complete their scheduled work. You may have access to any of the following team base camps. This mainly consists of the, the weekly to-dos, tasks that are being set for each week, 
normally set by any person in the management or maybe by your respective team leaders. These tasks need to be completed every week and will be ticked off by the quality analysts. For more information on Basecamp and how to operate it, please do refer to the Basecamp videos that I have mentioned in the description. There is another kind of Basecamp that I have not talked about and that is called Project Basecamps. In that way, we have 500 plus projects divided among 8 teams. Each project has their own Basecamp. There is a sample project known as CrewBlue. As you can see, there are members from both the clients and that were team that are involved in this project. A project base camp has three main tools that we use. One is the message board web, which basically replaces the emails where you can actually give work related updates and communicate with the client. The to do's, these basically are tasks that are set for each month for a project completion. These needs to be complete, completed by the end of, of a month and needs to be ticked off by the respective team leaders. It is crucial that you as a team work together to finish all the tasks that are being assigned for a particular month. The docs and files are basically your storage, storage area. This contains important files related to a project and its handling. Now that we have understood about the SEO team structure and we have understood about how to run Basecamp, let's talk about the reporting strategies. In that way, apart from the normal updates that you send to the clients, there are two compulsory reports that are sent to almost all projects unless otherwise directed. These are the weekly performance and monthly performance reports. Here are what each report should contain. The weekly report should contain the following stats. The growth of the backlinks, the referring domains, referring IPs, the spam score or the toxicity score of each project, the TFCF score, MOS DA and PA score, and the next week's task summary. The monthly stats report contains data from the Google Analytics. It may contain a three months, one month or even a year over year comparison. The same goes for the Google Search Console report. It will also contain a data on the bounce rate of a particular project, basically a website. The keyword ranking report because we are primarily an SEO team. So uh, your projects should contain a keyword ranking report that is to be delivered at the end of each month. And everything else in the weekly report. And by the way, you should also include the next month's SEO tasks as a summary. Now let's talk about the workflow that we have set in that web. The workflow is divided into two types. One is the client onboarding workflow. Another is the SEO workflow that is designed to, to make sure that each team has a direction in fulfilling uh, each individual SEO projects and make sure that they are on the right track. Client onboarding is the initial phase of starting a project. It includes the initial client meeting where we get the overview of the project and the goals. It includes an analysis pass section where we perform detailed surgical uh, like analysis of each project and we, uh, we report our findings to the clients. Ideation and planning, this is the ideation stage where we present the strategy and how are we going to fulfill the goals that are being set in the client meeting within a stipulated time. After the ideation of the final strategy, we ask for the client's approval and also ask for any resources that might be needed from the client's end. Finally, we work on the preparation and the execution of the project as planned. The management consists of team members and core. The management consists of core team members who are responsible for managing and supervising the project. And at the end, we hope to 
perform continuous improvement of each project by focusing on the most efficient strategies and researching new trends for continuous improvement. Here is an SEO workflow process to make sure that your, you as a team member or your team are on the right track for, com for completing the deliverables of each project. Do note that this is just an overview and a detailed SEO workflow process will be handed over to your team by, the, by either the HR or your respective team leads. The workflow mainly consists of an initial contact where we set the goals. Then we perform initial audit of a particular project, its current stats and where we want to go through it. The, we set up administrative tools like Google Analytics and Google Search Console and any other tools that is responsible for tracking the various KPIs that are to be measured for a project. We perform on-page SEO uh, like, uh, like of a project. Then we, per we perform various tool-based checkups and fixes. From the second months or third months onwards, we focus on off-page SEO setup and launch, basically performing back like performing backlink acquisition and promote the project websites on other places to make sure that it grows. We also perform a computer analysis to uncover further opportunities that are there. We also perform a computer analysis to uncover further opportunities to enhance a project. We also perform in-depth technical SEO analysis and in-depth on-page analysis. After the basic SEO has been done, we focus on an in-depth SEO analysis and in-depth on-page analysis to uncover more opportunities for further growth in an SEO project. Finally, after five months of continuous and rigorous uh, SEO work and when and, and after an SEO project has got and has finally gone stable, we focus on ongoing SEO tasks that is mainly focused on keeping the project stable and making sure that we keep consistently hitting the KPIs that are expected from us. Risk Management There are almost 500 plus projects onboarded with that one. You can't expect each project to go smoothly without an occasional bump in the road, right? That is where our risk management process comes to the play. This includes five steps. First is when the client escalates. This phase involves receiving the client escalation and responding appropriately to buy time for investigation. Second comes is the investigation phase. Investigating what went wrong that led to the issue in the first place. Damage control. Identifying the core issue, preparing a workflow to overcome it, ensuring all deliverables are settled and preparing a report. Client meeting. Finally, after that we have understood what needs to be done, it's time for a meeting with the client for the resolution of the issue and assurance of service quality. To make sure to avoid any such risks, we have a system in place to make sure that any issues that appear in a project are not repeated. For this purpose, we have a quality analysis and control protocol in place. This involves weekly checks, quality analysts, routinely check the quality of the work produced by teams and send weekly feedback to team leaders. Campaign monitoring, they analyze the project as per the reports the team generated each week and month and make intelligent suggestions for improvement. Timely reporting, quality analysis also involves Timely, timely work reporting to minimize the chance of escalation. Keeping updated with SEO trends. One of the primary responsibilities of a quality analyst is to participate in research and development to uncover new SEO trends and practices and train the teams with these updates. Client meeting. One of the major responsibilities of quality analysts is involved to set up client meetings and handle client negotiations whenever the time occurs. One of the primary responsibilities of a quality analyst is to handle client situations and make them feel comfortable whenever the situation arises. What about the marketing system of Thatware? At Thatware, we don't really have a marketing team. Here's why. We get over 700 plus leads organically 
and is improving by 30% each and every month. Rest, we are growing exclusively via referrals and networking. People love us. Instead, we invest heavily into research and development to keep up with the latest trends. We invest 40% of our revenue into hardcore research and engineering to keep our clients ahead of the competitions. That is all I have for you. May you spend a wonderful time at this lovely place. As your host, I share the following sentiment from Team Dadwell. Live long and prosper.